Hello and welcome to English with Tom. I'm your host, Tom. And today we are going to be looking at how to pronounce some difficult English place names. Uh, so let's get started. Round one. Here is the first place. What do you guys think? Try and pronounce this by yourself first. Hmm. Any ideas? Okay, let's take a look. Gloucester. Gloucester. So if you see a town name with C-E-S-T-E-R, you might think it's Chester or Sester, but no, we reduce it to one syllable to simply st. St. So Gloucester. Gloucester. Bit of information about Gloucester. It was founded in uh, AD 97 by the Romans. Uh, so the st ending has a connection to the Romans. Also, Gloucester is famous for cheese, Gloucester cheese and cheese rolling festival. Check it out online. It's crazy. So like I mentioned, the st ending, uh, the history of the word is that it means a Roman fort or Roman camp. So we have one example, Gloucester. Can you guys think of any more English place names with st? Hmm. Any ideas? Okay. Here are some more examples. So Gloucester. Gloucester, also Leicester, Leicester. You may know that place name for the football team. Worcester, Worcester, famous for the sauce. And this one is Bicester, very confusing. Looks like Bicester or Bicester, no, Bicester. Okay, round two. How about this one? What do you guys think? Give you a few seconds. Try and say the word. What do you think? Okay, let's check it out. Scarborough. Scarborough. So the ending of the word, B-O-R-O-U-G-H, it's not borrow or borough. It's often just reduced really simply down to one syllable of br, so Scarborough, Scarborough. Some people do say Scarborough, a little b in there, but usually Scarborough, Scarborough. So Scarborough, another very old town, um, was founded by the Vikings in the year 19, uh, sorry, 966, and it's by the sea. As you can imagine, the Vikings coming over on their ships, attacking England. So the history of the word of the br or br is connected to this. It means a walled town. As you can imagine, you might need walls around your town if uh, Vikings or other uh, tribes were attacking. So br. Can you think of any more examples of cities or towns in England with br? Hmm. Let's see. So we have Scarborough, Scarborough, Loughborough, Loughborough, Peterborough, Peterborough, Farnborough, Farnborough. Okay, round three, fight. Let's see. Ah, very famous place name. What do you guys think? How do you say this? Okay, Birmingham, Birmingham. So you might want to say Birmingham, but we don't really say ham. It reduces down to um, um. So Birmingham, Birmingham. 
So you may know Birmingham because it's a big city in the UK. It's the second largest city, which is interesting because the history of the um or H-A-M is that originally this place, Birmingham, was a small town or a small farm. So if you see a British or English town name with um on the end, that's what it means. It started out as a really small town. Can you guys think of any other examples? Um, let's see. I have a few here. Okay, repeat after me. Birmingham. Birmingham. Nottingham. Nottingham. This next one's interesting. Looks like Tottenham. Tottenham, but usually we just say Tottenham, Tottenham. And the last one on the list, Durham, Durham. Okay, round four. Let's have a look. What do you guys think? How do you say this town name? Try and, try and say the word before we check. All right. Plymouth, Plymouth. So the M-O-U-T-H sound looks like and sounds like mouth, but in a town name, it's reduced down to muth, muth. So what do we know about Plymouth? So Sir Francis Drake, a very important Navy captain in England's history. And he was responsible for beating the Spanish Armada. So what do we think? Where is Plymouth? So we need, we have a famous English captain with all his ships. Is the town going to be in the mountains? No, it's by the sea. So M-O-U-T-H, Muth is when the river meets the sea, opens up, and it's like the mouth of a river. But when we're talking about place names, we reduce it to Muth, Plymouth. Can you guys think of any other examples of cities or towns with Muth? Hmm, have a think. Let's see. So here we go. Repeat after me. Plymouth, Plymouth. Yarmouth, Yarmouth, Bournemouth, Bournemouth, Portsmouth, Portsmouth. All these towns are by the sea, on the coast. Okay, round five. Let's have a look at this place. Have a think. What do you try and say the word? Try and say the place. Okay, did you try? Okay, it's Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Uh, again, it has the C-E-S-T-E-R. So, st. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. And here, the S-H-I-R-E is simply pronounced sh. Sh. Uh, you might think it's shire, and you might hear on movies or TV shows, Worcestershire, but no, British people, English people just generally say sh. And what does that mean? You also may know the famous Worcester, Worcestershire sauce. Um, so Worcestershire is, it's an official governed area. So in the UK, in England, there are 48 areas or counties, kind of like American states, that end with shire, but we pronounce them sh. Can you think of any other examples? Okay, so we have Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Lancashire, Lancashire, Yorkshire, Yorkshire, Staffordshire, 
Staffordshire. But like I said, there are 48 other places. So this is a really common place ending. Round six. Let's put... Uh, I have no idea. Lanfierpur. Is this real? Is this a real place? Lanfierpur. Go, go, go. Wow. The Church of Mary in the hollow of the white hazel near the fierce whirlpool and the church of something by the red cave. <laughs> Crazy. Actually, this place is in Wales, which is next to England. And I think it's the town with the longest name in the world. But I have no idea how to say it. So you will have to check YouTube or check Google for yourself. Okay, guys, that's the end of this, how to pronounce difficult English place names. Please uh, like this channel, share with your other friends who are studying English, uh, follow to get new videos, comment to say what you need help with, and turn on the notifications. That's all for me. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. Bye.